Okay, team, so in orthographic mapping, when we talked about errors, one error that we talked about was a code-based difficulty or, co or a phonics error, meaning the student was given a word and they didn't know the correct phonics pattern to put in there, right? So they, they got this one wrong because they, they didn't have that phonics orthographic mapping pattern for a silent E with a VCE word. Or this one right here, they didn't know that uh, vowel diagraph that would make the long E. Or this one right here, they, they weren't so sure how to spell joking because they didn't know how to combine a VCE word with an inflectional suffix, right? So these are all examples. These errors are all examples where the student didn't know the phonics pattern to correctly spell it. So we could say this is a code-based difficulty, or they didn't know the right code to encode that word that they're hearing correctly. Now, I'm going to go to another type of orthographic mapping or spelling error. And this one, listen closely, this is different. This one involves an error in sound order. Or another way of saying that is uh, when a student comes time to map out the letters into sounds to spell the word, when they do that, the sequence of the phonemes in the word are out of order or not in the correct order or maybe even omitted. So in the word like flap, Look, they get all the sounds. There's a fuh, there's a fuh, there's an uh, there's an uh, there's a lul, there's a lul, there's a puh, there's a puh. All the sounds are there represented in, let in graphemes. But the order of some of the sounds are in the wrong place. The sequence of the sounds are in the wrong place. Or words like uh, form, and they say from. All the sounds are there just in the wrong order, right? This R is moved over here right? It's in the wrong place. Or in the word split, the student uh, spells spilt. Again, they're getting all the sounds in the word split, but they're moving the order of those sounds when it comes time to encode. So this has to do with, as they do letter sound, letter sound correspondence, okay? I'm sorry, not letter sound correspondence. Um, sound, the teacher says the word sound, and they match them up with letters or graphemes. When they do sound letter correspondence, pardon me on that, when they do encoding, something's happening between the time they, they hear the word and when they encode it, and they're getting the order of the phonemes wrong, or I say sound order wrong, okay? Okay, think about that type of error there, okay? And let us, uh, it's, it's not to say, you could say, um, oh, uh, a lot of times this is what happens when this type of error happens. It's like, oh, oh, the student doesn't know um, R control. Or, or you know what? The student doesn't know this blend, this constant cluster. And that may be true. Maybe they're, they don't have practice with it enough. That's true. And there could be other things going on too. But, but one of the features of this mistake is that when the student does make the mistake, the, the, the order of the letters the, the order in which those words or the letters are put down is in the wrong order. That's a giveaway that there's some type of phoneme breakdown going on in their in their their sound letter correspondence. Okay, some type of phoneme difficulty or some type of sound order difficulty. All right, now let's let's apply that idea to the next question. <laughs> 